consultancy firm is changing the way it takes on new staff so that recruiters don't know where candidates went to school or university. Deloitte will instead use a complex computer program to crunch details of would-be workers to avoid giving preference to people from privileged backgrounds. Our education reporter Mark Ashton explains. These six formers have huge ambitions, but the Arc Globe Academy near Elephant and Castle is in one of the country's most deprived areas. Statistically speaking, a high-flying career in the city is unlikely. Like people from boarding schools, it's more the norm, and from here it's um, not a rarity, but it's definitely less frequent. It would be quite unfair for those who are privileged in life like, to, to achieve this, while people who have to work ten times harder or may, may not be presented with the same opportunity. Professional services giant Deloitte is trying to change that. Recruiters will now look to contextualise, basically take into account important factors about a candidate's background when hiring. It claims to be a fairly exact science to give every candidate a fair chance. The contextual recruitment system uses a complicated algorithm. It considers exam data from 4,000 schools and colleges nationally, along with a pupil's individual grades. Then it cross-references 2.5 million postcodes to assess deprivation. Finally, a blind question and answer as part of the application is fed in. Every pupil should have an even chance of getting a job. That's the theory anyway. But doesn't all this admit the current system treats some unfairly? We all do have bias, we have unconscious bias. Until now, we have an excellent recruitment system. You know, we recruit a large number of graduates and school leavers into our organisation, and we have always believed that our system is fair and that we are identifying the best talent. That doesn't mean we can't improve. Our students have to overcome enormous difficulties in housing, caring for parents, challenges at home, challenges at school. So they've shown enormous character and resilience to be able to get the kind of grades they need to go to a top university or to get a good job. So they should definitely be proud of their achievements. Um, and I think it's fantastic that Deloitte are recognising that in the past they haven't maybe made it through the application process simply because of an unconscious bias towards maybe more publicly educated students. I've been looking through your application form. There are one or two questions I would like to ask you. Job interviews have come a long way, and with other big firms also trying to make their systems fairer, the message is they really do want the best person for the job, whatever their background. You'll be hearing from us in due course. Mark Ashton, BBC London News.